In this video, we're gonna find out why you should use 3D printing to make jigs and fixtures for your measurement. Why should we? Oh, it's a huge subject for 3D printers. Now, we're very lucky at Mark 3D because we've got this wonderful material called Onyx. And Onyx is a particularly stable material to print with. It's a nylon with a chopped carbon fiber. And recently, um, we've been looking at jigs and fixtures in a, in a big area. And a customer came to us and said, can you print me a, a special drilling jig to go on top of a helicopter? So the drilling jig we printed looked like this and it's curved in three directions. It's that way, this way and that way and it sits on the body of the aircraft. So what actually happens is they can drill, pre-drill the holes through here for a retrofit harness for um, uh, some work on the side of it and then they can cut round, mark that and cut round there. Now this used to be made out of aluminium, a block of aluminium. Oh, wow. And we got challenged to um, see how accurate we would be compared to a CNC machine. And hole number eight up there, uh, I love five axis CNC machines, they're wonderful things, they're expensive, but um, uh, they, uh, they're wonderful pieces of equipment. That hole there was within 10 microns X, Y, and Z. We got a little bit of drift on um, some of the surface, but using the blacksmith item on the X7, compared to the CAD model, we could train the printer to print perfectly the jig they wanted. So in some ways, they were a little bit surprised that um, a printer that's about, oh, I don't know, 10 times cheaper than these five axis machines managed to put this out, past inspection with flying colors. And also now, if you're working on top of an aircraft, you can drop this mm -hmm. um, and it's not gonna cause too much damage. Lighter as well for the operator. Lighter for the operator, all sorts of things. It's not conductive and there's some great stuff with it. If it's good enough for the aerospace sector, it's probably gonna be better enough for the majority it of sectors. Is. So if you move on, this is the name which you just said, it's a welding fixture. Yeah, this, another nice idea. This welding fixture, um, this is something that's made you, uh, printing with the flame retardant material. So uh, Onyx has got a, an Onyx FR rating, it's a V0 rating, so it can go into aerospace or it can go into the train industry or anything. Uh, we've chosen to use it for a, a fixture just so that we can weld some pipes together. Now welding splatter, we, what we wouldn't want to do is create a fire. So uh, the flame retardant stuff lends itself lovely for welding applications. Absolutely, and the other thing, there's two things with, 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 with printing. One, what can we do that potentially we can't do in, in another way? Another one's cost. I can't help but seeing the cost there, sub seven pound for that. It, yes, that's You that, couldn't, you that, couldn't that, machine it for that. It's true, isn't it? Yeah, you could, there's no way. You wouldn't even bother trying to machine it for seven pounds. It would cost you that in electricity just to turn a controller on. You know, it's, it's, it's just crazy, the comparisons. But there's huge benefits and smart manufacturing companies these days are, are using printers to do the things that printers are good at. Um, yeah, there's exactly. another material um, which is an Onyx ESD, so it's electrostatic dissipative, that's a hard word to say. But um, what that means is nowadays for assembling things like PCB boards mm -hmm. and for doing other things for if they're in uh, areas where the slightest um, charge, electrical charge will cause a problem, um, satellite stuff, um, this is a great material too. So basically we're saying in layman's term, anti-static. Anti-static it is, yeah. We can, I can touch you and it won't, uh, <laughs> won't give us a shock. No problems at all on that one. Uh, this one here is an absolute must in my opinion for yeah. CNC machinists. Um, probably two thirds of machinists will have a CMM of some description. Yes, yeah. And it, quite often it's a bottleneck. You have to machine the component, then make your fixture. Clearly yeah. there's a bottleneck issue. With here, you just take your CAD, almost reverse your CAD and print, and print a fixture. You do. Um, this is, um, I believe it's a Chevy Conrad, although I don't know. I think it's a Chevy. Um, this, this little fixture here was sub 10 pounds, knocked out overnight to hold this. Um, and we've done an awful lot of CMM fixtures. There's lots and lots of them from all sorts of things, medical to aerospace. It's just a huge market and uh, gone are the days of doing that. You, you, of course, have got the ability to put your part numbers in, in it. You can print so you, you never get your fixtures mixed up. And, uh, and this one here, this is a, an assembly, part of an assembly fixture for um, a, a piece of suspension and it's just been printed. Why machine it? You don't have to. The bulk of the cost of doing a job now is in the engineering effort, not the, the actual part. Mm -hmm. It's the stuff needed to um, get the part through inspection. Of course, you've got stuff that snaps together. This is a very simple little fixture just with some magnets in it. Just drop those in there. And that's when you compress a piece of suspension. Um, you drop that in there 
and then you put your circ clip on it. It's so, lovely. It's like a pokey oak or, or pokey gauge. Pokey oak, yeah, that's it. Yeah, to, to me, it's it's fascinating. I look at a lot of this technology and would I invest it? I think when you look at this, it's compelling, whether, whether I'm a fabricator, a CNC machinist, I think it's worth having a conversation about added, uh, additive yeah, manufacturing, 3D much, printing yeah. now. Yeah. So if people want to learn more about Mark Forge, how do they, how do they reach out? Uh, they can come to our website, mark3d.co.uk. They can give us a call on the landline, social media. They can email me if they want to. I'll, uh, my, my details will be at the end of this video. So I'm more than happy to talk to anyone. If you've got a genuine project and you want to try something to, um, to explain to senior management why it's important to go down this route, I'm more than happy to help fund it with you. So your CNC machinist watching this video, should you look at 3D printing, additive manufacturing? The team at Mark3D do, so why not give them a call?